Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an ASUS laptop. This is an ASUS Top A15 model. The exact model for this one is an A is an FA 507RF-HN015W. That information can be found on the bottom of the sticker on the bottom of the laptop, right in here. And this one is a manufacturer date 2023-07. That means it's on the seventh month of the 2023 year. And in this video, I'm gonna go over how you can open it up and how you can replace or remove the battery for your laptop. If yours is not holding up any more charge or you just you know, feel like it's blowing, it's pushing towards the cover and it's about to change or it's just discharging really quickly, you might want to replace it. By replacing the battery, you're not going to change anything in the system, any modification or anything like that. You just simply plug and play. I will give you a tip regarding the new battery, how you're supposed to charge and discharge for your initial use. That is very important for the new battery. We sell them all the time and we always recommend our clients to do this process once every two months to keep their battery health at maximum performance. All right, I'll explain that in a second. First thing first, you want to power off the laptop. You want to flip it upside down. And in here, there are two types of screws, the long screws and the short ones. The long ones are at the back, mid. So you want to remove these two quickly and the rest, you want to leave them in a different pile. I'll be using an iFix screwdriver set, and from this tool set, I'll be using a Phillips number one. If you purchase the Pro set, they will include you with some opening tools, some tweezers. If not, for the opening tools, I'll be using a guitar pick. A metal guitar picks are suitable to opening cases and covers. All right, so I'm going to remove these two screws at the back first, and I'll keep them in a separate file. They are little long screws by one millimeter. So let's remove one extra right in here and you will see the difference. There are about one millimeter different sizes. So I'm gonna go all around and I'm gonna remove all of them, including the one in the middle. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the commentary. I appreciate that. Now that we removed all the screws, we're gonna grab ourselves the opening tool. We are gonna open up the laptop a little bit, and down here we're gonna stick it between the palm rest and the bottom cover, just like that. And you wanna twist it, and you wanna see that gap opening. You wanna do that all around, to the front, go to the side again. I'm gonna do it a little bit on the left side, and there we go, now we got a nice gap opening on the bottom here. We're going to put it on our side here, and we're going to do it on the corner here by the grill. Do the back side by the fan heat sink. I'm pulling it away from here so it helps me to separate it quickly. And there we go, it's already removed. So I'm going to Flip it upside down, we're gonna remove the bottom cover and we're gonna place it to one side. And the battery is right over here and now you see there's a stop, small spaces here. To remove the battery, all you wanna do first is disconnect it. To disconnect the battery, you wanna push this clip backward about uh, half a millimeter as much as, as you see that it clears the white plastic here. You wanna use a plastic rod you want to stick it right under the battery jack and then you want to twist it and it will pop open the jack right there. Next, you want to remove the warranty label here. You can simply put it on the side, you can reuse it. And you want to remove one screw right over here. And the top. And one screw right over on the other side. There should be a screw here, but they don't have it, but they have a screw right on the other side. So remove the three screws, grab the battery, bring it up, and there you have it. The new battery don't come with this cable. You have to reuse this cable, just pull them back out. The red cable is the positive and the black one is negative. It says positive, negative, so make sure you don't put it like this. You won't want to put it in the right orientation. 
once you got a new battery in the model for this one it is right here model is a c41 and 2010 i'll try to get the link for this battery and i'll leave it in the video description so you guys can purchase your you want to put the connector right in there push it all the way inside the connect jack bring it down make sure the tiny pin holes right here align drop it down and put the three screws to hold the battery to the case all right now that the battery is connected in there i'll put simply this warranty label that i just pulled out put it right over you're going to bring down the connector we're going to align the jack on the motherboard And we're gonna push it towards the motherboard and we're gonna slide this connector over. It just has to come over about half a millimeter. Once you did that, once you did that, now you wanna grab the bottom cover, align it right on top, push the corners, you wanna hit all nice big click sounds on the back, on the front, on the sides. And you wanna to wanna to put the mid back long screws on the case and then put the rest of the screws all around on the bottom of the laptop i hope you guys like this video and help you guys out if you have any questions or requests feel free to leave them in a the video comment i'll try to answer them as soon as i can and regarding the charging and discharging the battery once you put the new battery in you do not want to power on right away you want to leave it off plug in the charger and leave it charging at least for four to five hours uh, without powering it on. After four to five hours, you won't want to power on the laptop without the charger connected, and you want to drain the battery slowly down to 20, 30%, and then you want to power it on again, and you mean power it off and leave it charging again for four to five hours. That initial charge and discharging, it is very important for the new battery and it is recommended to do it once every couple of months again i hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out and this covers up today's video also just remember when you power on it might take up to five to ten seconds for it to boot up because we disconnected the battery in this case again i see the light but i don't see any logo or anything like that don't panic just wait a bit and it will boot into the windows i'm just gonna wait a few seconds it did actually show up i just shut it down right away i'll power it on it took up to 20 seconds so sometimes it takes five to ten sometimes it took 20 seconds So I'll just leave it on. I'll just fast forward this part probably. So you're gonna see it's gonna re reboot, come back on. So don't worry about it. There we go. And that's it. It's loading up the windows.